it. Welcome to this featured hour with me, that Cuban girl. Before we start, I'm going to go to video intro. <laughs> Thank you, Emoji J. Shout out to my amazing admin, Emoji J, for that video intro. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to Own It. It is Tuesday. Isn't it your favorite day of the week? It's my favorite day of the week for sure. So thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. If you're just tuning into the stream, it's okay. We're just starting. And this is Own It. This is your featured hour that happens here every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Pacific time with me, that Cuban girl. And in Own It, basically what we do is we all together collectively become the best versions of ourselves. And how do we do this? Well, I have two amazing guests every single week and we'll share our stories, our struggles, our come up, the things we've learned and how we ended up here in the streaming community. And you may be asking yourself, well, who are you? Who is this girl? Like, why is she here? What is Own It all about? Well, my name is Cicely and I am, yes, 100% Cuban. <laughs> Hence why I go by that Cuban girl. And basically for the last 10 years, I have been in the entertainment industry, modeling, acting, I am a TV host to have a show that's coming out this fall. I'm also a ring girl for boxing fights and a streamer, newly streamer, okay? So I do a whole bunch of different things in the entertainment industry and I love that I get to come in here and share with all of you on this amazing platform tips and tools on how we can be better or how we can be um, better market ourselves or brand ourselves better or simply become the best versions of ourselves by owning the uniqueness of who we are because ultimately that's what it's all about the only way we can get anywhere is by owning truly owning who we are unapologetically okay so i want to say a couple of my announcements couple of disclaimers number one this is a feature show so please make sure that you're respectful towards me my guests the chat everyone <laughs> that you favor my guests make sure that you give them love make sure that you support them and check out their streams because this is what it's all about okay um also please stay towards the end of the show because we have a lot a lot of things coming during the show today um we also have um we have our two guests we have the quote of the day the tip of the day and at the very end, I like to bring both my guests back in the chat box so we can have final thoughts or plug in our shows or whatever it is that we're doing, okay? Also, one thing that I'm doing is um, whoever's my top supporter, top gifter of the stream gets to be one of my bouncers and I'm going to welcome you to my bouncing community here on my personal streams. And, you know, that's my way of saying thank you to you. If by any chance my number one gifter is somebody who is already a bouncer, then that person gets to pick one person to make bouncer, okay? All I ask is that you stay respectful and good vibes and that you enjoy the show. 
So you guys, if you're just tuning in, quick recap, welcome, welcome to Own It. Welcome to this featured hour with me, that Cuban girl. This featured hour that happens on the Meet Me platforms every single Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Pacific time. This is a good vibe show. This is an inspirational show. This is a show where we learn to be the best versions of ourselves. And I do my best to give you and teach you and share with you everything I've learned in the last 10 years of being in the entertainment industry, okay? And so today's topic, it's something that, <laughs> it's something that I picked because my number one show so far has been within this topic. So that showed me that something about this topic really helped you, really motivated you, really made you engage. And there's so many different things in this topic that we can talk about, that we can touch on. So probably today's show and most likely next show, I'm also going to be um, going to be still talking about the same talk about topic, but different aspects of it because it's something that I am now also learning about in a course. And so I want to share it with you all, okay? Today's topic is a mindset. And I think it's um it's something that we should all really like dive in deep and learn and practice. And no, we're not perfect. It's never going to be perfect. However, we can try our best, right? Today I have two amazing guests. I have Kern Kern. I hope I said that right. She's uh here in the in the comment box. And I have Mercules, the God love, and I'm so excited to talk to them both and see what they're about and see what their streaming journey has been all about. I also want to let you know that if I don't address you personally in the chat box, it's because this is a feature show and I have to be respectful towards my guests and give them my undivided attention. However, I do encourage you to number one, Connect with me outside of here on Instagram because I always talk back. I always get back to you on my DMs. And number two, I highly encourage you to write your comments and your thoughts about today's topic in the chat in the comment box because I usually do look at the comments and if it's something that has to do with the show, then I'll address it. Okay. So without further ado, welcome to Own It. This is the show where we learn to be the best version of ourselves. And I want to welcome or ask my guests to please request the box so i'm going to be welcoming my first guest let me wait okay kern kern welcome to the show hi how are you i'm doing amazing i love your outfit hey thank you we're doing pink for valentine's day we're rocking out the rest of the february in pink and oh, you show love I do it. yeah I love Absolutely. that. You look amazing. I love your energy. Um, Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Whoa. Okay. So guys, my name's Kern Kern. I stream every day. I do uh, a show on here called Kern Kern Speaks Autism. Some of you who do not know me, what does that mean? Well, I study, I'm an ITDS, which means infant or toddler direct services. I work with special needs kids on the spectrum. My two children are special needs. I've studied it for 16 years. And now I have a show where I'm educating, advocating and spreading awareness and giving people who, who have that experience, whether it's family members, personal or an educator, a platform to talk about that. And I also love y'all catch me if I'm not doing that catch me singing and dancing. I'm on the idol right now. I'm in the finalists. I will be on Sunday for the finals. Um, and there you go. I'm very fun, high energy. And one of my favorite saying is kindness is free. Sprinkle it everywhere like glitter, guys. I love that. And you, you sent me that in your bio and I truly, yeah. truly connected with that. And I love your energy and I love that, you know, that you have chosen to um, to share your life struggles and stories, especially having your kids that are on the spectrum. I have had shows on here about being on the spectrum. So I do respect, you know, people like you that de you devote your lives to, to that. And it's a very selfless thing to do. So I love that we're talking about this because I feel like for someone like you, mindset, it probably plays a big role in your life, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, you know, it, 
it's, it's easy to fall into a negative mindset with it. You know what I mean? When God gives you lemons, you know what I mean? You're like, why me? And you can fall into a dark place. Um, you know, when my, my son was first born, uh, and I realized, okay, he's not hitting milestone. What's going on? And I came into this panic in my head and I'm like, you know what? No, we're not going to panic. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do everything we can to help him. And then in helping him, I had did some research on myself. I'm also a musician. I play 12 instruments. Um, obviously I sing, I'm on the idol. Um, and then I come to find out that I tested myself for autism and I tested very high on what's considered autistic with savantism. So it's my way of memorizing. So I could have come into that with a horrible mindset, like everything's over. My son's never going to thrive. This is, you know what I mean? But it's training myself to be like, no, they told me he wasn't going to talk. Girl, they told me he's not going to speak. He's just going to be nonverbal. And guess what he does? He's a theater kid. He does acting gigs. He does voice acting. And don't let anything define you guys. So you can easily fall into that negative headspace. Don't. Just persevere. Hold strong. I promise it will work out. What was that moment where they told you that he wasn't going to speak and then something must have switched in you and you said, no, that's not going to happen. What was that moment for you? That moment, um, well, I'm dealing with that again because I have a three-year-old uh, who is nonverbal. And she's dealing with a different thing uh, where it's more like uh, praxia. So she's having a disconnect from her brain to her mouth. So she may not be able to talk. So that moment, I realized I have to work harder. I have to work harder. I got to help him. He's my responsibility. God gives special kids to special people. And it is, it's my honor to help him. I need to help him because who's, gonna, who's going to? If I don't, he can't help himself. Sorry, I'm going to get a little... And so at that moment, it was terrifying and scary and new. And I didn't know how to help them because that, that was so long ago. That was 16 years ago. They didn't know about autism like they do today. They're finding more and more cases of it. It's a lot of the information, the studies on it are a lot more wide and variable. Where back then it was just like, what can I do? So I said, no, 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 I don't care. Even if he doesn't speak, I'm learning sign language, which I know ASL. I know how to sign now because of it. Um, I figured out different ways of helping him communicate and I just wouldn't accept that that was gonna be the case for him because either way, whether he spoke or he communicated, it was, it was in that moment that I knew that I had to not give up on just take whatever it is they told me. I was gonna do something, even if it, it, meant, you know, it didn't yield the results I wanted, I wasn't just gonna give up. How do you prep your mind every day to or do you prep your mind every day to like do, to go about your daily life and routine? Yes, uh, I have to because I have the two kids. And then um, some people know this. I'm just coming out with it now besides the fact that I have Asperger's is I have Crohn's disease on top of it. So I'm, I have an, a severe anemia and it's hard for me a lot. But I just, what I do is I'm like, you got this. You got this. You know what? If you know, if it's hard, good, because just pick your heart. Everybody's got hard, right, in their life. Everybody's got something that's really difficult, and it's really hard to surpass those things. So just pick your heart, guys. That's what I say. I say, pick my heart. Okay, today my heart's going to be this, and I'm going to get this done. If I do nothing else, this is getting done, because you know what? It, at the end of the day, if you're not moving forward, you're, what are you going to do? You can't sit and cry about it, guys. It's not going to get anything done. You stay focused on, okay, priorities prioritizing what is the most important don't ever 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 over goal yourself because you'll feel defeated and and if days this is the biggest one the biggest one was on days i'm not feeling okay i would feel guilty for it like i'm feeling sick i don't want to do an iep today i don't want to stream today i don't want to do this i don't want to go to the park and and you know what i feel really really guilty but then I said to myself, you know what? I'm human and it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. Okay Those are healthy. Have a good cry, guys. Cry about it sometimes. It's okay. And I want to say that you have a beautiful soul. And for someone who has so much going on, the fact that you're showing up, the fact that you have such positive energy. And if there's one thing I want people to take from this show every single week is that 
we need to show up for ourselves. There's been times where like, I haven't been feeling well, haven't been in the best energy and I still show up for my show because I'm committed to this show, right? So it's the same way for, for different things. We have to show up for ourselves and try to be in the best positive energy that we can every day. So you are an amazing person. I love that you're sharing your, your, your story with us. Um, I love shows like this where people can get vulnerable. And I just want to ask you, well, first of all, quick pause. Welcome everybody who's just tuning in. Uh, we're not ignoring you all. We see you. We see the comment box. We see the support. We see the hearts. We see the gifts. Um, oh, I think she froze. Is it me or is it her? I think she froze. Oh, no. Anyways, welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. You guys are all amazing. Kern, Kern, please uh, request the chat box again. And um, I just want to welcome you. This is Own It with me, that Cuban girl. This is your featured hour that happens here every single Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Um, Kern, Kern, please request the chat box, uh, the guest box. Let me see. Perfect. Amazing. There she is. I don't know what happened. I don't, it could have been you. Could have, I have no idea. But okay, it's we're back. Okay. It's okay. So I want you to tell us a little bit. Uh, now that we got to know you a little bit better, how did you get into streaming, and what does streaming mean to you right now? Um, originally, I got into streaming to make friends because it's with the two kids and me being in a place where not a lot of people speak English and um, primarily it's Spanish and uh, it's very hard for me to connect to other parents um, just just on that level and and just other people and hard to maintain friendships because I can't give to a friendship like I want to because they don't have kids I don't drink I don't party I'm kind of boring my idea of a good time is playing a board game or having a really deep conversation so I don't really appeal to people my age they just you know, so I'm like, I need to find connections with other people. I can't just live in, you know, um, blippy land and, 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 and picking up a school. I have no social life. This is not healthy for me. So originally I just started trying to make friends. And then I was just like, every friend I tried to have, and I'm sure everybody else experienced was what led me to streaming was, you know, just realizing there's a lot of catfish in the chats and i'm like no 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 or things that are not what i'm looking for you know um in the chats just not something i would be interested in uh not a relationship or anything like that so i'm like then i stumbled onto the chats and i'm like oh my gosh real people and they're talking about their feelings and they're talking about their experiences and you know what and in those moments where i saw some of the first streamers i saw some of them were singing, some of them were dancing, some of them were pouring their hearts out. Some of them were just laughing and having a good time. And I said, you know what? I can do so much with this. I can do so much. I can sing, I can dance, I can do everything from the safety and the privacy of my home without putting my children in jeopardy, me in jeopardy. I don't want to be a rock star. I've been there, done that. Don't want to be in a band. Don't want to go through that because I don't have that, but I can be safe and still sing and still you know, dance and still educate people behind my screen. And you know what? If I've made one person that less broken who came into my stream and left there just a little more patched up, I've done my job. Yeah, 100%. I love that. And I think you're far from boring. I think you have an amazing personality. I'm sure your streams are so fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of fun. We dance, we sing, we just, we just have a good time all the time. Positive vibe. Wanna, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Do you want to sing something? Oh, no, because well, if you can hear my voice, it's all froggy, right? You can hear it. Um, I would love to, but I'm, I'm just not prepared. Everybody's like, yeah, I was singing all, you hear all my voices right now. I was singing all last night, all the night before, and then I did the Idol semifinalists. <laughs> well, okay. guys, don't miss it, because this Sunday is going to be the finals. The winner gets to go to perform at Playlist. It's a really big deal. So I'm in the finals. So oh, my God. Another... Congratulations. You love. Thank you. Oh, it's so sweet. He's so sweet. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm definitely going to check it out. Um, that's amazing. Well, Kern, Kern, I love talking to you. Please don't go anywhere because if you're up for it, I will be bringing you back in just a few minutes. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Love.
Everybody go favor her and, and check out her streams and everything, okay? You guys, thank you for being here. Welcome, if you're just tuning in, this is Own It. Welcome to Own It with me, that Cuban girl. This is the show that happens here exclusively on the Meet Me platforms, Meet Me POF, et cetera, et cetera. Every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time, at 2 p.m. Pacific time, I love this time with you. This hour is literally my favorite hour of the entire week. Um, I love this show and I love what it does for the community. I love that you guys support. I want to let you know I see you all. I see the hearts, the comments, the gifts. I'm so grateful. If I don't address you personally, it's because I'm talking to my guests and I don't want to be disrespectful, right? But you guys are all appreciated and I love you all just for even being here today. So today we're talking about mindset. And the reason I chose this topic is because literally back in January 10th, um, actually I saw that more was here earlier the show where he was my guest and we talked about mindset was my best show up to that date yes matthew <laughs> uh my best show up to date and i figured well maybe this is the topic that people really love to talk about um and and it really uplifts everyone and i think that mindset is something that we always have to be working on i personally currently am working on my mindset because there's a lot of habits i need to let go and we'll be talking more about that we're gonna have a um uh, part two on mindset next week, so do not miss it. But I do want to encourage you to stay all throughout the show because we still have many things that are going to happen, okay? Next up, I'm going to be sharing with you the quote of the day, and it's a quote that I loved when I heard it. Then we're going to be bringing up my second guest, uh, Mercules, the God Love. Then we're going to be giving you the tip of the day, and then we're going to close the show with both my guests back in the chat box so we can all have closing thoughts or plugins or whatever it is that we want to talk about. Ultimately, this is what this show is all about, plugging everybody together in the community, uplifting each other, and becoming the best versions of ourselves by owning the uniqueness of who we truly are. So I am so thankful that you're here. Now, I'm going to be giving a shout out to my top 10 gifters of the stream, my top 10 top gifters of the stream. And I do want to remind you that whoever ends up being my number one gifter today is going to become one of my bouncers. In case that that person is already a bouncer, then they get to assign the bouncing to somebody that they of, of their choosing. Okay. So i hope i hope that my top gifters are updated because i am on a pc so um like right now i'm noticing that number one it's someone and then it says that that same person is number three so hopefully this is correct so you guys correct me if i'm wrong on my top gifters please so number 10 shout out to scott thank you scott number nine red sonia thanks girl number eight eight is mercules thank you number seven is Kalesis, Kalesis the God. I hope I said that right. Number six is Sparky. Thanks, Sparky. Number five is Brian Scout. Number four is Alex. Number three is Splook McDuck. Hopefully I said that right. Thank you. Number two is Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. You're amazing. Number one is Louis. Thanks, Louis. I so appreciate your love and your support. Uh, Louis was my guest last week and we had an amazing show. So thank you guys. <laughs> thank quack quack. I love that. Thank you guys for being here. Um, please correct me if my top uh, gifters are not correct because I am on the computer, but uh, hopefully they are. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining, for tuning in. This is Own It with me, that Cuban girl. And you probably are wondering, who is this girl? Why is she here? What is this show all about? Well, a little bit about me is I have been in the entertainment industry for the last 10 years. I'm a model, TV host. I'm a ring girl for boxing. I am also now a streamer. Um, and I do a little bit of everything, but my passion is this, hosting, talking to people, getting curious about who they are, sharing our stories and growing together. This is really my passion. So I want to say thank you for just tuning in and supporting, you know. We are going to go straight into the quote of the day. And today's topic is mindset. So I chose this quote because I am currently taking a course by 
this amazing man who I follow on YouTube for a long time, he's got a podcast called um, Impact Theory. And I don't know if you guys have heard of Impact Theory, but I do believe that growing our mindsets and growing, uh, doing personal growth is extremely important and learning from people who have been there, right? Um, especially with us that we're, we're all streamers on here, I think most of us, right? Or we're in the streaming community. I think learning from someone who has their own podcast and is basically making a living being an online public figure, I think that is so, so, so important. So I do want to share a quote that um, I heard from him and it goes, mindset is a set of beliefs about what is possible in your life. So mindset is a set of beliefs about what is possible in your life. Basically, I love that quote because that means that whatever we think it's possible, that's what it's going to be. And there's another famous quote, I can't remember who said it right now, but it, it said it went something like, um, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. I can't remember who said that, but that's like a very famous quote. And it's true, you know, and thank you guys. And it's true, whatever we believe it's possible, it's what's gonna happen in our lives. So I wanted to share that quote with all of you um, because mindset is the most important thing in our lives, okay? So without further ado, I want to welcome my second guest of the day. Please request the chat box. Um, this person is also Cuban, like myself, Haitian, Ecuadorian. She's a streamer since 2020, and it's all about the good vibes. And I love that. So wait, there we go. I see you now. Okay, welcome. Oh my gosh, welcome, Mercules, the God Love, to the stream. To the stream. Hey. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm doing so good. I was over there enjoying. Hey, what's up, Sparky? I was I was over there enjoying, you know, the, the conversation. I, I, I love story time. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for taking your time and being on the show today. So tell me, why Mercules? Oh, it's the first name that I've ever had in the app. I've had three prominent names, either Either first name I ever had was Mercules, second one, Merc, because my name is actually Merc. And and um, you know, then I then I had Maui. And so I always went from Merc Maui. Um, but I never went back to Mercules. This was the first name I had. I guess because when I first started, I really didn't understand streaming and I looked at it very differently than what I look at it now. And honestly, I I was kind of ashamed of the name per se. So you know, coming back now into streaming, I decided to grab it again because I said, you know what? This is the first name I chose. I'm gonna give it, I'm, I'm gonna give it a, a more positive note. I'm gonna make sure that that people will remember that name in a positive sense. Tell me the difference when you first started. Like, how did you used to view streaming versus now? Oh man, um, you know, when I when I first started streaming, it was very crazy for me. I just came back from you know, going through a very, very difficult time, some real you know, when people talk about beef, drama, you know, I mean, I, I my life was on the line in certain instances right before COVID. Um, you know, I got grazed by a bullet um, during that, like a week before I started streaming. You know, I mean, um, a lot of things was going on because of the area I was in, in New York City. And um, so coming into streaming, I was very hostile. I was very aggressive. Coming out of that and then finally calming down and being stuck in COVID, not doing nothing after being outside and going through a lot of drama, looking over my shoulder. So the difference from streaming when I started to now, night and day, night and day. I and love that. So are you having a good time streaming now? What do you stream about? <sighs> Man, you know, I've been on the app since 2020 and I've, I've left, I've come back, I've left again, said I'll never come back and then I find myself back. And the reasoning for it that I find myself back 
is because of the people, because of great people that know that my hard weeks, that they know those moments of the month that is hard for me because they've seen it. They spent the time with me. You know, they know, they gotten to know me because I'm an open book, because I'm a genuine person, because I try to be that person to say, hey, he, this is who I am. Accept me or don't accept me. You know, if you don't like me, kick rocks. We have the block button. We have a lot of things in this app. You can really control it. I don't even need to see your name in my, in my board. It's awesome. So, so in the end of the day, you know, like, you know, it's, it's really amazing when you can make some real connections. I, it's the people, the people like, I, you know, I, I, I've had so many amazing conversations, so many things that I've learned. This is like, like my outlet because I'm a very, I'm an extroverted person. I'm very, very extroverted. And, and man, you know, I don't really like being in the mix of certain people. I like to know who I'm around, who I keep around me, certain energies. I really protect my energy with everything. So it's like, this is a kind of a way that I connect and not have to be around people you don't want to be around with. You know what I mean? It's kind of, you know, kind of more control, <laughs> if, that, if, that, if that makes any sense. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I agree. Energy is everything. Whoever you surround yourself with, whatever you do, is everything and you know that's why we're talking about mindset today because that's part of it as well oh, oh the fact that you said something about mindset i want you to plug this thing in all right there's a lady called angela duckworth okay while i was hearing mindset i'm like oh man i gotta mention angela listen angela duckworth is was a sergeant air force she wanted to understand what made people great and you know and what made people succeed in strenuous situations was it brute strength or was it mental fortitude was it mindset what was it so when she went into into um west point she ended up teaching and like observing and realizing who are the people that ended up passing hell week and who are the people in that place that ended up succeeding was it the brute strength was it or was it people that had mental strength and what she realized was that people that had mental strength she came up with this term that is called grit if you ever never heard the term grit grit before bronze why is that important because she just said mindset and having Grit has everything to do with your mind, your mental strength, your your the fact that anything could be going crazy around you, your body could be failing, you're you're exhausted, but your mind says, nah, I need to make it. That's grit. And if y'all need to look it up, look up Angela Duckworth. It's a lot of information that she understood through um people that were going through a strenuous time and overcame. So if you want to learn some good tips. Angela Duckworth to say mindset. Boom. Thank you. Wow. Dropping the mic. Totally mic drop. I love that knowledge. It's so true. Preach. It's so, so true. Mindset is everything. Grit. Thank you for sharing that. I have never heard about the term grit and I, I really love it. Um, have you, are you familiar with David Goggins? Probably. I, I'm like an information hog. I'm Look like an information hog. Everyone, everyone on here, look up David Goggins. He's amazing. His his mindset is amazing. Um, Mark, I love that. So so tell me a little bit now. So like, what are your your goals on the streams? What are you doing? Um, My goal on the stream is to impact as many lives as I can. If I can be able to impact a life, if I can be able to make someone smile, if I can be able to change someone's mood, if I can be able to to probably teach them something, if I can be able to at least even, you know, distract them from whatever's going on, whatever that may be, you know, I, I want to be that, that. My goal is to be able to be that place where people can just be who they are and they can not feel sorry about um, feeling stressed. You know, my life, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I believe that God, I, never, I know what it is. God attracts a lot of people into my life that are going through a lot of things. And I'm not a person that can ever step over that. So I can, I stop everything I'm doing. And for all the people that know that in my life and that are in here, like my home, Khaleesi, Sparky, you know what I mean? To the moon. You know, all of y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all know that I don't care what I'm doing. If somebody's in need of conversation and they need an ear, they need some, some words, I'll stop what I'm doing and you can get in the box. Let's go. Let's do this. This is why I'm here. <laughs> I love that. I love, love that. that. I love that. that. It's it's that. that. Uh, 
um, thing about streaming is the fact that we can make a difference, the fact that we can create a safe space for other people to come and be vulnerable and talk and create connections ultimately. Um, I'm gonna make a quick pause and welcome everybody who's just tuning in right now. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome to Own It With Me, That Cuban Girl. I so appreciate your time and your energy if you're here right now on this show. Thank you so, so much. Um, I see your hearts, I see your comments, I see your gifts. Please make sure that you favor my guests because both my guests today are amazing. They have amazing energy and they're amazing people. And welcome to Own It. And if you're wondering what is Own It, well, Own It is the show where I bring all the knowledge that I have acquired in the 10 years that I've been in entertainment out there to here, the streaming community, the streaming world, to help you become better hosts, to help you brand yourself better, market yourself better, ultimately, so we can all become the best versions of ourselves. And how do we do that? By owning the uniqueness of who we are. Everybody here is unique. Everybody here, whether you're a streamer or not, you have your own story. And that means that you can use that story to become the best version of yourself. And that's what this show is all about. So Merck, Thank you for sharing what your story with us and 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 basically how you started streaming and everything. I wanna, I know you're into. It seems like you're you're very spiritual and you're you're of course you're into mindset and all these things that I'm talking about, which I love because I did not know that before prior to the show. Um, so I want you to give people on here a tip or an advice for someone who's maybe listening but they're not confident or they have a different idea about streaming, or they don't really know, they have dreams that they wanna follow, but they don't know exactly how to do that. Can you like help them a little bit? The best way I can do it is with an analogy. You know, think about your life is a boat, okay? Your life is a boat. That consists of everything that you hold dear, your body, everything, your exterior, your home, all the things that matter to you. It's the boat, you're in the boat. Think about the ocean is life. It's very random, very, very, you know, it can, it can be nice and still at times, but sometimes you can get a wave, your boat, everything can get shaken, things can get moved in your life, but you have to understand something, your mind is that sail, you understand? So if your mind is a sail, your life is that boat, and the, your, 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 your world is the, the boat, but life in general, the, everything else, all the circumstances, the things, your finances, all of that is the ocean. You think about what you can control. And the only thing you can control in the midst of a storm is that sail. Utilize your mindset. Utilize your philosophy. If you don't have a philosophy, look up what that is. Or maybe look up at the ant philosophy. It's a great one to have. Look up the ant philosophy. But listen, understand that your sail is your mindset. The only way you're going to get to where you need to be, where the direction that you're trying to get to. You know, even though life may take your boat, you know, sideways going this way that way the fact is that if you keep your mind focused at the goal pointed at, your, at what you need or where you're going knowing what you need to get there keep that focus and guiding to step by step even if you're growing and progressing an inch it don't matter progression brings joy knowing that you're going somewhere even if it's little steps you gotta be joyful in those things because that's the way to keep your sail pointed in the direction so your boat even though when it gets calm it's on its way it took a little delay but it's on its way you understand so your mindset is the sail point that directly at the right direction stop pointing it at the water stop pointing it at the waves stop pulling it at all these things that you can't control anyway i love that i love that that is amazing what is the best thing that's happened to you in your streams Whew. I met my future wife. I met the woman of my life. Like I met the woman that that supports me in many ways that y'all don't even understand. Um, you know, she's my top gifter. Her name is Lorray. Um, you know, and and you know, like wow, she kind of rescued me. You know what I mean? Like respectfully, like you know, considering where I was mentally, how I was thinking, to a point that where I am living with a wonderful woman. Um. And, and two beautiful children that call me dad, you know, and I'm married here in these streams and meet me. Wow, what a love story. Yeah. I love that. That's a beautiful thing. 
Well, do you have anything you want to plug in, Merck? All right. So back. I do this show. It's it's uh, on Sunday. Is is on Sunday at 11, 11 at eleven p a.m. to twelve p.m. Is Jesus vibes saves lives. Okay. You know. Um. I think that Jesus gets a bad rap. I think that a lot of people get a lot of impression of Jesus through the church and people. I will. I like to show who Jesus is biblically, um, systematically. You know, um, systematic theology in the sense of actually breaking it down in context, not thinking about oh, what was the, what is the doctrine of my church? What do we believe? I'm going to what the Bible says, and exactly what it says in the proper context, so that people can understand who Jesus is. Because I think a lot of people got it twisted. Mm. So I have that at, tw- at eleven. Um, AM Sundays, um, every Sunday, we have some time around 10 AM to 11 PM. Um, also on Saturday, we're going to be starting a sh- new show is going to, it's called the dance off challenge It's going to be lit. If, if you think you got the moves to do what it do come through and it, you know, it's going to be really, really fun. We have over a hundred different dances. You may learn a new dance. You may know these dances, but if you already know how to dance, get it popping, get a win. Wait, when is this? It's going to be at 10 p.m. on on Saturday um, nights. Um, and I'm gonna, the first one is going to be this the, um, this Saturday coming. I might pop in. I might pop in. Should be late. You're going to see somebody. Somebody, somebody going to sit there and do their thing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mercules. I've, I've loved talking to you. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, your energy is amazing. Thank you for sharing it with us. People, everybody go favor him. Make sure that you hit him with a fave and show love and show up to his streams. And, you know, just, just stick around, Merc, because I'm going to bring a, be bringing you back in a few minutes, okay? No, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Favor, 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 favor. I'm here for the clout. Favor, I'm almost <laughs> at 10,000 faves. I'm almost at 10,000 faves. I'm so close. <laughs> Don't favor him right now. <laughs> Bye. All right, you guys. And if you're just tuning into the show, welcome. I want to welcome you. This is Own It with me, that Cuban girl. This is a show where we talk about a lot of different topics. At, well, one different topic every single Tuesday. But um, we talk about many different things uh, throughout the length of the show. By the way, today is episode 25 of Own It. So, um, yes, I'm keeping record. I'm keeping notes. Um, very proud of the show. I'm, I, I just want to say thank you guys for always showing up. Um, Thank you, Tim. I see you in the comment box. Thank you to all of you guys who always show up and support and and always are here and and listen to us and thank you for the favorites and absolutely everything. Um, I love Own It. I think um, I think I think we shouldn't be such a society of takers and we should give more to other people. And I love the fact that I, I get to still work uh, in the industry and and come on here on Tuesdays and share what I've learned or like. If I take a course or something, I can share it with you guys and we can all talk, you know, and I can talk to my guests and we can all share struggles and stories because ultimately the ultimately the intention of own it is for all of us to own who we are and own the uniqueness of who we are. Okay. So thank you so much, everybody who, you know, I see you in the comment chat. Um, in the comment box, the new ones popping up, the the old ones, the OGs that are always here every single Tuesday, I see you. So I want to give a quick shout out to my top gifters, and I need your help because um, I'm not sure if my computer is showing me this correctly, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I'm going to be giving a shout out to my top 10 gifters of the stream so far. Number 10 is Mercules. Number 9 is Calissis. Number 8, Sparky. Number 7, wait, Sparky, you're from Hialeah. That's where I'm from. Number 7, Red Sonia. Number 6, Jean. Number 5, number 5, what's your name? Brian Scout. Number 4, Alex. Number 3, um, Splook. <laughs> it's Splook my duck. Uh, thank you. Number 2, Matthew. Number one, Louis. Thank you so much. Guys, that is what's popping up on here for me, but I have something different on my screen. So if it is if it is not correct, please do let me know because at the very end of the stream, I'm going to be 
making my top gifter of the stream my new bouncer hopefully you are respectful and chill and you can stay being a bouncer but um yeah that's my way of saying thank you to you to the community thank you for being here and um without further ado i am going to be jumping quickly to the tip of the day on mindset this one is very very quick it's very short but it is very simple however difficult to change or to apply and um it's something that we all work on. I be, I truly believe that it's something that we never stop working on because unfortunately, we all have a lot of stories from childhood. We all have a lot of stories from growing up, from maybe if we got bullied growing up, we have a lot of these stories that are hard to change. But it's a simple concept, but if we truly try to work on it and do our best working on it, we can definitely become the best versions of ourselves. So the tip of the day based on the topic of the day, which is mindset, is that the first step to changing our mindset is changing our beliefs. It's very simple as that, but it's actually very simple, but it's very hard to do because, I mean, unless you're in your teen years, and even if you are, you already have a set of belief systems about yourself and about, about the world and about others that are holding you back probably from what you really want to accomplish in life. And the difference be between the 2% that reaches your goals and dreams and wealth and abundance and all these things, all the goals is their mindset, the things that they think about, um, the things that they attract. So changing the first step to changing our mindset is changing our beliefs simple but it's not it's not that easy okay but we can all do it if we all work on it we can definitely all do it okay thank you guys for being here i see the favorite thank you damien for the favorite thank you guys for for tuning in for being here do not leave yet because i'm still going to be bringing both my guests back in the chat box so we can all talk take a photo i do want to invite you all to please connect with me outside of here connect with me on instagram make sure hi kp <laughs> connect with me on instagram make sure that you dm me and i'll get back to you within the next 48 hours i always get back to people just just tell me something like hey i, I watched your show okay um i appreciate you all for being here i do want to connect with every single one of you guys authentically whether it's here or outside of here and i do want to say thank you for being here um do stick around because i will be mentioning who becomes my uh, my bouncer for the week and um i think those are all the announcements i believe so so without further ado i'm going to ask both my guests to request the chat box if you guys have any questions comments please feel free to write them in the comment box because i will i am looking at them literally right now i'm on my computer so i'm looking at your comments as we speak and um i definitely can address them and and you know um talk or whatever i'm new to your stream thank you welcome everest welcome to the stream make sure you favor me and favor my guests um so welcome back oh, welcome Thank you. Hi, beautiful. So, Hi. Mark, Mark, when you request the chat box, please remember to request and cancel and then request to get some on the computer, okay? So, uh, what did you think about the show, Kern Kern? Tell me. Oh, I loved it. And Mark is like, got that energy I love because it's very similar to mine. Um, he, I mean, great mindset. I love what you just said. How do you change your mindset, change your beliefs and things, change the way maybe you were looking at something, change the way that you, you may have viewed something that may have steered you the wrong way. You know what I mean? Sometimes changing something around in, in your room or decorating something and changing your environment has a lot to do with your mental stability. I think that is, is important as well. Yeah, switching your energy, right? Kind of like oh, not yeah. because so otherwise energy. you're going to have stagnant energy. Stagnant, right. And you're just going to stay there perpetually. I love that. I love that. Um, no, I wanted to, to, to do this uh, chat with both of you. I always do this, but I feel like when we have energies together, the conversations are better. Um, Merck, you have a lot of fans in the chat. Hmm. You know, you know what it is? I'm going to tell you this much. Um, good people surround themselves with good people. 
And most of these people came in for Kern Kern. I'm going to be honest with you. But I, it just seems like we have a lot of mutual friends. I should have had her favorite in a long time ago. Yeah, we do. We got Uncle Brian. We got Moon. We've got a lot of the same people. I I love it. I'm watching the channel. I'm like, wait a minute. They know him? Why do I know him? Why do I not know this high energy just, positive? You know why? Because Merck be disappearing. I, I just came back in November. I tell you. and But you know, uh, I'm gonna be. Ba I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm. I'm. I'm you know, hey, it's, it's the people. It's people. It's people like my 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 boy Sparky. You know, which I'm an admin. I said I would never do it, but I'm an admin in my boy Sparky's show, the Match Game. You know, um, I, he's an amazing, amazing, amazing uh, friend. I've known him for so long, and 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 I wouldn't. I would have said I would have never done that for anybody else. Because you know we've had some personal conversations. He's a real one. For anyone that know, that's my boy. I love that. I love the support, and thank you guys for bringing your people to the show as well. I truly appreciate it. I love connecting with people. Oh, I don't by the know, way, it's Sparky. on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, 10 p.m. Eastern. Tuesdays, 10 p.m. Eastern. The match game. Let's go. We need contestants. Consistence. Like. <laughs> Let's do it. No, do all the plugs. It's okay. I was going to say, I don't even know Sparky, but I favored him because I like his vibe. <laughs> the the guy that you see in here, Splooge McDuck. Um, that's how you say it. Uh, he's actually my best friend in real... Uh, it's hard. I know. Like It really is. He's my best friend in real life. I've known him since I was in high school. So wow. I started doing the app, and he came on to support me, and then now he's streaming, and I've met, yeah, there he is, and you'll see Uncle Brian, who I refer to as my soul sibling. We're born on the same date. We had an instant connection. One of my wonderful, just wonderful people. So everybody in here, Eugene, my sister's in the chat, my actual real life sister. She's still here. It's Red Sonia. I mean, all of these people are, I mean, they're admins in my shows. They're actually my friends. They come and we talk about all kinds of stuff. They, they're, they've literally made my days better. They, and, and I'm so grateful and I'm glad I met this one down here because uh, I'm with that high energy, baby. Let's go. We're for it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. High five. <laughs> we got it. I know. I love the high energy too. I love you guys. You guys are both amazing. And, you know, just being able to share your energy and conversation with you guys is great. Um, I, tr I truly want to say thank you for your time, for being here. Um, I do, I mean, I, we've talked about a lot of things, but we still have some time on the show. And basically I would just like to, for you guys to, to say to somebody on here, like just anything when it comes to, to live and streaming or something like some knowledge, I just want you to drop some knowledge on people on here. Yeah. Can I go first? Ladies first. What a gentleman. Y'all see that? He deserves a fave right there. Not right there. Um, as it, as it pertains to streaming on here, guys, it is very, 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 very wonderful. Don't get me wrong about what I'm going to say next, but can also there's a bright side and a dark side to this app. You will run into people that will tear you down. I've heard it. every Everything in the book I've heard been called to me. Do not let those people's opinions affect you. And just always keep in mind, hurt people, hurt people others when you see them being toxic to you maybe ask what is going on do you want to talk like i am your friend like i'm here to meet people same as you i'm alone i want to have that connection i don't want to be alone anymore in my head in my heart like i don't so maybe try and if that doesn't work then obviously you know give them the boot but always try there's always something deeper behind somebody who's being toxic or trolly please just don't let that stop you guys there's so much drama on this app too just try not to get involved and be a positive thing in everybody's life like merc does just be a positive thing even if sometimes oh it might be you know killing your stream to talk to somebody about what they're going through that day you've made that person's day we can't always always be a, you know singing monkey dancing happy all the time sometimes we have to actually well, the good ones, we want to help people. I just want everybody to know, don't let that deter it deter you it's not just happening to you it happens to me i'm sure merc gets it that cuban girl i'm sure you get it we all get smoke on here we all get the negative stuff we all get some real wonderful just don't let it deter you and think oh this app's only about this or this app's only about that look diamonds are great and everything but it's it's better than that you find things that are worth more than gold 
You don't let that stuff deter you. Just keep coming on. Keep doing it. Keep meeting new people. So what? This group isn't for you. Move on. Don't don't linger. Don't ruminate. Just move on and do. Remember, stay focused on what makes you you, and don't ever look to somebody else to find your worth. That's the most important thing. Know your worth. Everybody here, everybody is listening to me right now. You have value and you have worth. I want you to know. You do. That's I love that so much. Uh, before I let Merck go, I'm going to share my piece of knowledge. Um, I think for me, it's also, it has to do with what you're saying. Just have compassion for the people that come into your stream as well. Because I've seen on my streams, I've seen people bullying, not me, but like other people on the stream. And that's not nice. Um, I think we all should have compassion for other people. Um, because at the end of the day, we're all here for connection. It doesn't matter, like, we're all the same in the same way that we're all here for the same reason or very similar reason, which is connection. So don't don't bully other people, have compassion for other people and listen to them. Um, that's just my little piece of knowledge. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Merck, let's go. Again? Okay, so so I got a little, a little sayings that I tell myself all the time and is to keep myself, I guess, sane and keep myself, I guess, grounded and um, is be yourself, be who you are. You know, never stop telling your story. No one can say it how you can say it, or no one could write it how you could write it. No one could do it the way you do it because it's your life. You own it, you know, you know, and but but also, you know, when people show you who they are, believe them, you know, don't don't give people excuses, you know, don't give people energy that they don't deserve, don't give people position that they don't deserve. Diamonds should not be the reason of, of, of closeness. Conversation, getting to know someone should always be the basis of a relationship. As the same way you have friends in real life, you have to understand that this is real. This is real energies. This is real people. This is real emotions. If this is not real to you and you think this is social media, you're going to only attract fakes. So, Get that straight. Also, it's not about how you start. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. So finish strong. You know, be your best version of who you are. Every day is a new day, a new decision, a new page turned in your book of your life. You get to write it every day. We can mess up, but understand, if we win and we learn, we never lose. You understand? Let me say that again. If you win and you learn, you never lose. Yo, those losses are not losses. That may be a setback. They may be a little bit understanding. It may be a reworking of your strategy, but the reality of the matter is that every day is a new day. So make it new. Stop getting stuck and anchored on hogwash on things that are not real like fear like the word fear fear is an acronym it's false evidence appearing real say that in your mind false evidence appearing real let's go yes let's go i love I it i absolutely love that i love that for everybody i love that oh man you gotta give me some things to think about here i love it i love that I love that so awesome. much. You it's guys, so your yeah. energy is much appreciated. I loved having you both on the show today. I loved meeting you. This is my favorite part of the show is that I get to meet streamers like you. Um, so feel free to always connect with me. You guys already have my Instagram. Everybody go favorite them and go give them love and show them love. And I do need your help real quick before we go. Okay. Help me because my top gifters on my computer, it says that Sploosh is my number one, but then in the different one, it says that somebody else is. Who's my top gifter? Do you see it? It says on my screen, Lewis Young at number one, Matthew at number two. <laughs> oh my God, you're Venezuelan? He didn't hear me. Merrick, are you Venezuelan? No, I'm Cuban, Haitian, and Ecuadorian. Oh, that's true. That's true. They say that, but your accent sounds Venezuelan. Accent, yeah. Okay. Man, my accent is Castellano because I try to be everywhere. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I love that. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. You're amazing. Let's take a quick photo real quick before we go. 
Yeah, it's good to do the same thing. Let's go. I love it. Um, thank you so much for being here. I loved having you on the show. You're both amazing. Um, so yeah, thank you. I'll I'll see you thank later. You. Everybody check out their streams. Thank you. Bye. Baby, baby, thank baby. You, baby. I'm here for the cloud. I'm here for the cloud. <laughs> Everybody, everyone who tuned in, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for for, for just showing up. Thank you for your, your love, your support, your gifts, your hearts, even your comments, even your presence, just being here, a part of the conversation. I truly, truly appreciate you. I love doing Own It because of this. Thank you for being part of the community. Um, as I promised, I'm going to be, uh, first of all, let me give a shout out to my top 10 gifters of the stream because your, your help and your your just your presence and your just everything is highly appreciated so number 10 is sparky number nine is red sonia number eight is gene number seven is brian scout number six is out